That's not a knife. That's not a knife either. That's a knife. Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Thirteen. We're in the post-game now, and uh, I've already taken a moment to uh, invest in the Stage 10 Crystarium and everything like that. So, when you finished the game and you made that save file that I told you about before, like I was saying, you end up back at the last save file, and you can go back and keep doing other things. Other missions you haven't done, farming components, whatever you want. Mostly it's for the missions. So, that's what I'm going to be doing here. I like how they always have that uh, little thing that tells you, uh, when you load up a save file, what's been going on since, uh, you know, the last time you played. So, like, if you take a two-week break or something, you can go back and it'll just tell you, hey, here's what's been going on since the last time you were played, you know? I mean, I hate it when I play a game, like an older game, and I stopped playing it for a while and it was like, uh, what the hell was I doing, you know? And, I can't play because I, I don't know what I was doing. I mean, I suppose I could figure it out, but you know what I mean, viewers. So anyway, now that we're done on Cocoon, let's head on back to Pulse. I think it's the one on the right. Yes, it is. Okay. So yeah, basically you just load up your endgame file, you teleport back here, and then you can take this warp point to get back to Pulse. So there we go. Now, when you've, now that we've unlocked the Stage 10 Crystarium that I told you about, the first thing you want to do, unlock everyone's fourth accessory slot. It's the new one of the new abilities you can get. And pretty much almost everything from the uh, uh, the t Stage 10 Crystarium are huge stat boosts. So that's really what you want to go for. I'd go for unlocking, or going for the roll levels, for uh, Ravager, Saboteur, Commando, Medic, Synergist, and Sentinel first. In, in that order of priority. Only for your base three job classes, though. So, uh, you know, if you don't have Saboteur, like let's say you're Lightning, okay? Saboteur is not one of your base job classes, so you'd want to go for Ravager, Commando, Medic, you know? And so on like that. I'll list it in the video description, but... Anyway, so what I'm going to be doing in the post-game here is... I'm going to be heading to the Fault Warrens, because there's a lot of missions that we can do there. Most of them I could probably have done with only a Stage 9 Crystarium. But there's some at the end that are rather hard that I figured, let's save for now. And uh, get these guys out of the way, too. Uh, yeah, I've rearranged my setup as I've listed in the video description there. So that way, and I'm using the Charlie's Angels team once again because I like the team. So, like I was saying, at this point, we're going to go through the Fault Warrens. Basically, all the remaining episodes for this LP are going to be missions and pretty much it. I mean, I'm going to do some bonus episodes for maybe farming trapezohedrons and dark matters and stuff, but pretty much that's what we've got. So that, that's one reason why I wanted to save these missions for now. So that way for those who pretty much just wanted to get the story, you know, you could watch that and I won't bog you down with so many like uh, months worth of episodes on doing all missions if I combined this with what I was doing before, you know? So I figured spread it out a little bit. And also, because you can get a lot of CP here, and I figured I want to use that CP on the Stage 10 Crystarium, which I couldn't do if I didn't save them until now. So there we go. I'll try to mention some strategies for people who don't have a Stage 10 Crystarium, but for the most part, I mean, why make it harder than you have to? Because some of the missions at the end are really hard, and you might need a Stage 10 Crystarium to do some of them. Some of them are... Well, I suppose they're all possible, but you know what I mean, viewers. Oh, hey, it's the big guy. How's it going? Look, that's Titan. Yeah, we still got some more cutscenes. You name it, he's a biogenitor. Chews up one species and spits out another. Yeah, he eats dinosaurs for breakfast. It talks. The struggles of the frail and feeble end in loss. But to your life, waters quicken the seeds of new. What's it saying? Man, Are he's got a raspier voice than Batman. What's well, going on? Checked. We're not exactly weak, are we? Yeah, we took out some other Falsy while we were at it. Titan's kind of neutral. Not really a good or a bad guy as far as I can tell. But anyway, these are the Titan's Trials in the Fault Warrens. You see all those... 
uh, paths that you can take there. Basically, uh, what you do is you start with one mission. Then you can choose, there's a mission to the left and a mission to the right. And you can choose one of those to go up, up the branching path. And then there's two more missions and so on and so forth until you get to the end. There's six missions at the end. And then once you complete all six of those missions, it unlocks a seventh mission. So we're going to have to go through this place seven times in order to do it all. Obviously, I'm not going to show you all of them. I'm going to show each mission individually. And well, that's that. And then I'll tell you, or like, hey, I'll meet you back here or whatever to do the other mission or whatever. I thought about recording this like a choose your own adventure sort of thing where each mission would be a separate episode and then use like annotation links to let you choose which path you wanted to take but eh, I figured nah that's just a lot of work and I think figure most people probably wouldn't care for that anyway. So okay we're on Comrav Rav. Now for this mission I actually want to use it to step to saw not because it's actually hard but because uh, the, the guy's stats are so low that it'd be really hard for me to five-star this mission without a Deceptisol. Not to mention, I don't want to leave her the guy. Or, wait a minute, have I? Oh, I've already fought one of these. Okay, never mind. Just go all out. Uh, the only debuff he's weak to... Oh, he's weak to everything. Okay, never mind. Well, I could use a... Um, uh, what is it? As if there was I could use Imperil on him or some other debuffs, but I don't care. Because, I mean, I got massive stats now. Look at those HP stats there. So, yeah, easy enough there. And you get some rewards from these missions. Most of them really don't matter. You, I'm, you're pretty much, if you're going to do these, you're doing it for the challenge. There's really, there's no more storyline remaining in this LP or, or anything like that. So, anyway, there's, well, that's the left, the one down there. And that's the one I want to go for. So, let's take the, uh, the left mission first. It doesn't particularly matter what order you do them in, as long as you eventually do them all, and then you can unlock the last one. I think the last mission is actually the only one that actually has a reward that's worthwhile. So now this one will take us to the next platform. All of these individual missions are just like in little tiny side areas. You know, they're all, uh, I don't know if landlocks is the right word. They're all isolated from one another. So the only way you can get from one to the next is to teleport there. And if you want to get back or get out of here, you can just turn around and, well, there's that sea stone there and that'll take you back uh, to the beginning. There. So, there you go. So let's see what's down this path. Some of these missions are going to have the same bosses that we've, some of the same bosses that we fought before, but some of them might be a little more challenging in one way or another. And, well, I will show you how. There's a treasure chest to the left and the right there, but uh, well, we can't get up there yet. Well, we can, but I want to take out these guys first. Well, it's sort of boss time. I'd say it's boss time, but, well, I've got to... Well, let's at least get that on there. If I can. Well, I got deep attack. That should be good enough. Yeah, I'd say this is boss time, but, well, it's not really that hard. So, okay, well, now... Oh, you want to use Ruin on them? Really? Oh, right. Because of that. Okay. Let's switch to Try Disaster now. I guess it's a good thing I, I didn't do that. Basically, just get slow, maybe deep attack on them, and then go all out. Well, I might actually need some healing. Yeah, I kind of screwed up a little bit, but, uh, come on, Vanille. Heal. There we go. Come on. Stagger! What happened to my debuff? I must have gotten rid of them or something. Whatever. Ah, there we go. Okay, now let's get all the debuffs on this guy. When there's only one, then it's a whole lot easier to get all the debuffs on him. But when there's like multiples of these guys, then it becomes a bit more tricky. There we go. I want to get at least in peril on him, and then we should be in pretty good shape. Oh, my buff must have worn off. Man, I'm a little slow today. Well, it has been a few days since I played the game, but... Oh, man, lightning. You got, uh, pain and fog on your stuff. Well, we can take care of this guy all the same. Come on. Okay, we're still good. We're still good. Oh, wait a minute. Somehow that uh, interrupted one of my ATB bars. Okay, come on. Finish him. Yeah! Got him. 
Man, I made that look a bit harder than it actually was. Well, we still five started anyway. So, yeah, nice thing about having four accessory slots, I can have, you know, auto haste, auto brave, auto faith, Aurora Scarf on everyone, it is ridiculously powerful at this point in the game. Don't have to worry about switching accessories or anything like that, like Blessed Talisman or Morale Talisman, depending on the battle. But I do want to take out these guys. New enemy, although there's not really that much new about them, but we can take them out all the same. So let's uh, Libra this guy, if I can. There we go. And, oh wait, why am I on trip? Oh. I forgot to switch it around. I should have been on Comrade Red. Man, I can't believe I'm this rusty. Well, anyway, unlike their goblin cousins, these guys don't have any... Uh, or, yeah, they're not uh, resistant to physical attacks. They're resistant to magical attacks. So, even with the shell, I'm still going to use my physical attacks because Fang has amazing strength. Which is one reason why I like having her as a leader. But also because she has some unique debuffs that other characters can't use. Well, there we go. Well, they're not, like, extremely unique, but for a commando. I like having a commando in the lead there. Alright, got him. But yeah, these enemies here get pretty darn good uh, CP. So. Alright. Ooh, some gold dust. That could be sold for a pretty penny. Maybe a pinch of dust. How do you carry gold dust anyway? Hey, get out of my way, ladies. This is no time for a three-way. But anyway, now if we go up here. There we go. I don't know why that was so hard for me. Whoa, don't fall, don't fall. Okay, there we go. All right. By the way, at this point, uh, once you get your HP up to about 14,000 for everyone, it's feasible to start farming trapezohedrons from those uh, adamant choices without using the um, without using summons. So I'd probably wait just a little longer. I don't quite have enough HP yet, but soon enough, viewers, soon enough. And then I will probably make a separate bonus episode for that who want to do it right away without tier three weapons or anything like that. But anyway, let's take the left mission over here again. I'm just going to go left throughout the entire place here. When in doubt, go left. That's my philosophy. But yeah, sooner or later I'm probably going to go back to that area that I was just in there, and uh, well, we'll take the right path from there eventually. So, and I could save there. They give you a save point every two missions, so that's pretty nice, but Eh, I don't think I need to save there. But anyway, let's take these guys out. Let's go Triple Commando! We've killed these guys before, but this time it will be a lot easier. Can I beat them in 10 seconds or less? Let's find out! If your Tombstone Pizza is not delivered within the next half hour, it's free! Let's find out. Haha! -ha! 8 seconds. I've done that in 4 seconds before, but uh, well, easy enough there. I even like Vanille as a Ravage, or Commando just to use Ruin there. I wonder how long it takes for her to get Ruin got. That would be nice. Well, anyway, we completed that mission, so let's take out these guys. Uh, yeah, let's go Comrade Rav this time. Prepared. Uh, nothing like quick and easy CP. I'll invest it, well, sooner or later. Uh, let's see, yeah, yeah, we're doing pretty good there. Abilities are starting to cost like 30, 60, thousand CP it is ridiculous here so okay well that's a, I think that's about all that I can do here or, well you know what I'll save here and then we'll at least check out the next mission or take a look I'm not gonna be able to get through it but well I'll, I'll do what I can there by the way with all those scarletites that I uh, got previously you should probably have like nine of them at least from those uh, sacrifices that I was telling you about before you got those Scarletites, you can use them to upgrade your Warrior's Wristbands and Sorcerer's Marks. So that way you can get a massive uh, stat boost from those. I'm not going to use them for most of these missions, but there may be some here and there that I'll use them for. But not right now. I'm going to pretty much stick to this setup for the vast majority of the remaining missions here. But now we got a Tonberry. Not just one Tonberry, three Tonberries. Can I defeat all three of them at once? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy 13. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. 
Have a good day.